Welcome to part number 10 of Gran Turismo 5 Beast Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and once again today we're going to check the dealership. Good thing you got the super unlocked so it's all good. Oh, which super did I have unlocked on the save file? Alright, so what do we have? Hmm... That's really expensive, but it is a classic Japanese car though. I would buy this for the Japanese classic, but I want my fourth driver to do the beginner league races. Um, okay, nothing we can use right now. Oh, the Denso Supra. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. All right, well, there's nothing in the dealership right now that we could use, so what we're gonna do instead is Professional series. I know I said amateur series last time, last time, but I changed my mind. <laughs> We're doing the mini challenge. Kobayashi's gonna take the wheel, and we're gonna use the Mini Cooper S 2011. So before I forget, let me check the tire compound that we have on this thing. And of course, Comfort Softs. No surprise there. So Kobayashi's gonna take the wheel. And we're racing a bunch of Mini Coopers. 05 Mini Cooper, 02. Well, it's not an S model. 07S. Mini 1. Dude, that Mini 1's gonna be a big, big back marker. So yeah, no surprise here, all Mini Coopers from 2002 onwards, no 98 model, which sucks, but hey, whatever. Consistency, I guess, for generation's sake. Now, our 2011 Mini Cooper is the fastest one here, so I don't think any upgrades will be necessary. I seriously hate when the game does this. Well, after taking forever to load for whatever reason, we start when the race has already been started for like 10 seconds, which is dumb, but whatever. Into turn one. Around the outside, three wide pass. Dude, Kobayashi, holy crap! Dude, he got all of those positions. Dude, I thought he was like going to the wall, but no! He got all of those positions from a really wide pass. Like, can't you guys tell that I just love this driver now? <laughs> Have him slow down the pace a little bit so he's not too hot headed because in this section it's really, really tricky. Even the game doesn't phase him? Yeah, dude. Taps to the wall. Not a, not a head on crash, so that doesn't count still. I mean, he's gonna crash eventually. You know, like, everyone has that moment. So, I'm just expecting it anytime. Not soon, but, you know, anytime during the LP, I guess. Maybe a pass into the chicane? Ooh, a bump and run, maybe? No, not quite a bump and run, but, you know, still in fourth place. This race is pretty long. So, I'm being pretty patient with Maldonado, I mean, Maldonado, Kobayashi. Oh, right when he said that, dude, his engine's gonna blow out on the fifth lap, watch. Up to third. Nicely done. Yeah, 
damn, he has to check up because Desmond slamming on the brakes. Nice banter. You're the one that started it. <laughs> Gotta finish it. Nicely done, Kobayashi. Okay, he's officially crashed now. But nothing too serious. Not Maldonado style, but still. On the pace yeah it's true but I mean that was a little bit more of a head-on collision but it didn't really affect them yeah I guess you're right <laughs> he hasn't completely screwed up I guess is the phrase we're gonna use here I know dude like That's the thing, man. I'm hoping my fourth driver can be as good as Kobayashi is. Like, seriously. Good battle for first. Already up to the lead. Maintain the pace here. Yeah, dude, turn one. He's pretty much nailed it at this point. Using up every inch of the track. Okay, he's starting to cool down quite a bit. Let's have him stay in the middle between hot and warm. Like, I don't know if you guys paid attention, paid attention to um, Bielsen's entry into that corner. He was pretty conservative going through there, but like, Kobayashi used up all the inches of the road to get the most out of the car. Starting to pull away. What's the gap? About three seconds. That's such a nice camera angle heading into turn one. Let's check out the fight for a second. Desmond and Busen, they're starting to get a little tense. The 05 mini, yep. 07, 05, 2011. The 2011 one is the best one. Obviously. Because <laughs> my driver's driving it. And then this mini, the 02, 02. The mini one, I'm surprised, is keeping up. Of course, the Mini 1 is in last. Any more progress here? Nope. Desmond is starting to back off a little bit. Fight for fourth? Starting to get a little intense. Nielsen is starting to get hot. Jantunen is starting to get there. 
Maybe a pass on the chicane? Let's see. By the way, I'm starting to figure out the new tracks in GT Sport to the point where I'm very convenient on the final race of the season for one of the racing leagues that I'm participating in. Nice! Is that the uh, St. Croix or whatever the track is called? I still need to log a lap on there, dude. Like, I'm going to do some GT Sport tomorrow since the new races are up. But yeah, um, I need I still haven't logged a single lap around there. But dude, it looks so beautiful. Like, I don't know what I'm waiting for, honestly. Maybe for a new race? I don't know. <laughs> so two laps to go. And CK said it right. Just chilling in first. Oh, you're racing in the B course? Yeah, I think the C course is the only one that I really saw laps logged under, you know, on YouTube, mainly because of Super GT's live streams. But yeah, um, C, I mean, I still don't know the track at all, obviously, but I kind of have an idea of what to expect. It's a really interesting circuit, first of all, and second, I saw some good passing opportunities, and I'm just like, you know what, Bluffany once again, proving they're the kings of fantasy courses. So maintain the pace. He's starting to get a little bit cold. That's Santu Kra. I, I I'm not sure how it's pronounced. So yeah, I know I butchered the pronunciation, and I apologize. If there's any French people watching in the audience tonight, but we're on the final lap. Only one more lap to go for Kobayashi to become the mini challenge champion. I had the problem with the name pronunciation too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unless you speak French, which I don't. Well, here comes the technical section. What's the gap now? 10 seconds? 10.666. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, dude, he's cranked out a huge gap. Okay, he doesn't he doesn't need to push anymore. He literally can just easily cruise now. Layout A is a pain to learn. It's not bad, but it's horrible to learn. Layout B is the best in your opinion. C is good. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe on tomorrow's stream for GT Sport, maybe I'll log some like practice laps around there for fun. French is just pretending to have drunk half a bottle of wine and having a hot baguette in your mouth, then you can pronounce it fine. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I gotta try that now. Well, Kobayashi only has of those corners to go and here he is winner of the mini challenge or Cooper S challenge I think that's what the name was called as well but here it is victory lane here we come I seriously love this driver so much oh my god he's so good Obviously, I can't pump out all my resources onto Kobayashi. You know, we need level 10 now. We need to balance Maldonado and Flynn still, but dude, he's already my number one driver easily. And that's the thing, we need four drivers for the endurances. So yeah, Flynn, Maldonado, Kobayashi, and whoever I hire for the fourth driver. Unless Flynn or Maldonado get fired, but... I don't think they will because it'll take way too long to grind them back up to whatever level they'd be, you know? 
So what are we gonna win, a Mini Cooper? Mini Marcos, nice. Not what I was quite expecting, but you know what? It's a mini, I guess. Even though it's a Marcos car, but hey, I'll take it. Sweet. Hey, I just realized we, we could probably do one of the classic car championships with this thing. Maybe. Hey, welcome back, Abstract. Um, we just won the mini challenge. And won ourselves a Marcos mini. Although, I don't know if I want to use it for the for the B-Spec thing, because I really like this car. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Next time on Gran Turismo 5 B-Spec, I will be doing another amateur division race, I think. Or the Lupo Cup. Either one of the two.